اطلب العلم اخي فهو درب به نور به ترقى به تحيا عالما حرا فخور اطلب العلم اخي فهو درب به نور به ترقى به تحيا عالما حرا فخور بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على عباده الذين اصطفى وبعد The Prophet Yunus عليه الصلاة والسلام He is also known as the Noon Why is he known as the Noon? Because a Noon would mean the big fish So he is the companion of the fish or of the whale, the, the huge fish وَإِنَّ يُونُسَ لَمِنَ الْمُرْسَلِينَ Indeed Yunus or Jonah, may peace be upon him, is from the messengers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent them to Mosul in Iraq. And it's also named as Ninawa, the population that the people he was sent to, 100,000 and over. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Yunus to them. Yunus called them to the worship of Allah azza wa jal, early Allah, and to keep away from any worship beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people of Mosul rejected Yunus, as many of the nations before rejected many of the prophets and messengers. And Yunus alayhi salam, he warned, and warned and warned his people from a punishment that Allah Azza wa Jalla sent on them, the way He sent on many generations and many descendants, or many generations and many nations before them. They were not listening to him. His patience was running out. So he decided, you know what? I'm not winning with these people. Let me go away. I might find other people somewhere very, very far away, and I might call them and they might come in to the fold. They might listen. Now Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala had not instructed him to go away. But he wanted to go to spread the deen because he really wanted people to accept and nobody was accepting. So that irritation made him go. So as he went, he decided, right, I'm upset, I'm angry. And I'm going so far that I want to jump into a ship and I want to go somewhere far away, over, across the ocean, across the sea. Now, when he was away, the adab that he promised started hovering. They saw dark clouds, dark clouds coming. All of them looked at it, 100,000 and more. So they start to ask, what's happening? Maybe it's the warning that Yunus had warned you. And it looks like if you're really not going to make a difference in your life and turn to Allah, Allah will punish you. The way he used to punish the nations before you. And the people of Mosul went far away from Lut and his nation. And they heard what happened to Lut. In Sadum, the city that Lut السلام, was in, they heard what Allah Azza wa done to that city and the punishment. And they realized there's no other thing except to obey Yunus السلام. So they panicked. What they did, they did the right thing. They repented to Allah. All of them repented. They repented sincerely and all of them were crying, men and women and children. So they all believed in him, every single one of them, without an exception. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them a chance that he did not give others. What was that chance? When the punishment was coming and they said, we believe, he then took it away. Why? Because there was not a single person who did not believe. This is the Nabi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whom his whole ummah accepted the message. The whole ummah. So while Yunus alayhi salam is gone, upset from his nation because they didn't believe in Allah, his nation will turn to Allah azza wa jal and believe in Allah. And where's Yunus? Yunus is gone somewhere else. Yunus alayhi salam is so upset from his people and he doesn't know that his people became believers. He's traveling. So as he arrived at the coast, there was a laden boat which was now going. He jumped into it and he was gone. And suddenly, mashallah, they went into the, the sea and then the wind started blowing. And then the storm started gathering. The ship started rocking. And after a while, it started sinking. And when it started sinking, the people decided we need to get rid of our goods to make it light. So they started throwing one by one. The goods, everything went out. The boat is still sinking. Now they looked at the people. They said, there's only one way of being fair. We need to draw lots. And whoever's name comes, we're throwing him out one by one. So they gathered everything. First time they take the name out, whose name was it? Yunus. When the name of Yunus came out, they looked at him. Young, righteous, good believing person, honest. We don't have many of him in the community. Might as well keep him alive and get rid of those wicked ones. Do the lot again. Take the name out. Yunus. They said maybe 
Okay, the first and second one's coincidence. Let's try it the third time. Take the name the third time. Yunus alayhi salam. Now Yunus knew. This is from Allah. So in the middle of the sea, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, and he jumped out. And as he jumped out, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructed a whale to eat him. So the whale opened its mouth and big gulp and he was in it. In the belly of the whale, unconscious lying there. Do you remember? Allah is saying, he jumped into the laden ship and then when they drew the lots, his name kept on appearing. So when he jumped off, Allah says, we instructed the whale to eat him. So he went down with Yus Yunus alayhi salam inside his belly until Yunus alayhi salam heard something. He said, Oh Allah, what is it that I hear? He said, these are the tasbih of the pebbles on the depth of the seas and the tasbih of the fish inside the sea. Then he remembered. He fell prostrate, sujood, in the belly of a whale, in the darkness of the night, the bottom of the sea. He called out in the darkness. The darknesses, the plural of darkness is used. Why? There were three darknesses. One is the darkness of the belly of the whale. Two is the darkness of the depth of the ocean or the sea. And three is the darkness of the night. I am the first human who is engaging in your worship in this place. The belly of a whale, the darkness of the ocean right down underneath and here I am in prostration for you Ya Allah Ya Allah what I did was wrong La ilaha illa anta subhanak subhanak inni kuntu min al-zalimeen there is none worthy of worship besides you Ya Allah Indeed, I am from amongst the wrongdoers, Ya Allah. Have mercy on me. And it is reported in one narration that when a, when a person does good deeds, it goes up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So every day they used to take up this prayer. And that evening too, they took up the prayer of Yunus alayhi salam. But they say, Ya Allah, is this not this worshipper? Every day we're bringing his deeds up. Today we're hearing this call, a weak call from the bottom of the ocean, Ya Allah. Isn't it him? Allah says, yes, it's my worshiper. It is Yunus. And the scholars say, Yunus alayhi salam stayed in the tummy of the whale for 40 days. The minimum narration says three days. They say he stayed for 40 days in the tummy of that whale. فَلَوْلَا أَنَّهُ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُسَبِّحِينَ لَلَبِثَ فِي بَطْنِهِ إِلَى يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ Had he not been from amongst those who constantly remembered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in tasbih, we he would have probably remained in the belly of that whale until the day of resurrection. Prior to this, every time he remembered Allah, every day he remembered Allah, always he engaged in the acts of worship. He was conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He engaged in his tasbihat, in praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on a constant basis daily. So that is why now when he called out to Allah, Allah responded to him. We caused him or the whale to release him onto the coast and he was very sick. When he fell, he was so weak that he couldn't get up. And his skin had rashes. Although, alhamdulillah, he was not scratched. So what did Allah do to him? And right next to him, we caused a little tree to grow. It gives a lot of shade and the, the leaf, when it touches your skin, it's very, very soft. And he can eat from the tree. And he was cured, subhanallah. And Allah says, we sent him back to his people. 
أرسلناه إلى مئة ألف أو يزيدون. We sent him to one hundred thousand or more than one hundred thousand. He went back to his people. When he went back to his people, he was shocked. Why was he shocked? His whole ummah accepted the message. The whole ummah. فَآمَنُوا فَمَتَّعْنَاهُمْ إِلَى حِينَ They all believed. So we granted them enjoyment for a little while, up to a fixed time. Allahu Akbar. فَلَوْلَا كَانَتْ قَرْيَةٌ آمَنَتْ فَنَفَعَهَا إِيمَانُهَا إِلَّا قَوْمَ يُونُسْ لَمَّا آمَنُوا كَشَفْنَا عَنْهُمْ عَذَابَ الْخِزْيِ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَمَتَّعْنَاهُمْ إِلَى حِينَ Allah says, was there any nation whose acceptance of the message after seeing the punishment helped them when they accepted wholesale besides the people of Yunus? There was no one else. Allah says, when they saw the punishment of Allah, they accepted all of them believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, we diverted that punishment and we granted them joy for a little while. Until we meet again. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Subhanallahi bihamdihi subhanaka Allahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayhi.